How was it yesterday? How was it um, with the concert? It was really good. I mean, yeah. we, were, we, we were quite nervous, mm. um, just because it's such a big event, and also we were opening the show yeah, as well, yeah. um, and there was two of us. Um, but we really enjoyed it, and it was it was an honour to be there and to be asked and perform. So it, it turns out really well. We enjoyed it. Mm. Mutaya, did she became ill quite acutely? She's, or well, she... she's been ill for the past few days, so oh, right. we've kind of done a few things just with two. Mm. Anyway, so we weren't really nervous about there being two of us because we've we've done a few performances last week with two, so we um, we'd already had time to arrange who would sing which parts. Um, yeah, so she's at home under the duvet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, there's sort of been a bit of transition between the uh, last album and this album. You're sort of more mature and, yeah. and you, so, you sort of show it as well in your performance. Um, how do you think, um, is there a line to how sort of sexy you can get? Um, I don't know. I, I think I think we've matured just because we've matured naturally, you know, with age. And because I think like when we wrote the last album, I was twenty then. Now I'm twenty-two, um, and I think it doesn't sound like a lot, but you do grow up a lot in those ages. You know, a lot of things happen and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think we, you know, I don't think we we'll ever, um, you know, do shockingly sexy videos or anything. I'm not really into that anyway, so, you know, if the girls feel like doing that, that's their <laughs> business, but I don't think I would, personally. Yeah. Push the Button was kind of supposed to be funny as well, mm -hmm. you know, it, it wasn't to be taken seriously, it was kind of a fun concept that the director came up with, that, you know, these guys are, you know, pushing a, a button for the elevator and we get out and mess the hair up a little bit and then we leave and it was kind of just it was like you know flirting basically so there was nothing like serious about it or anything. Are there any sort of secret tricks that you do when you are or secret ways that you you kind of refresh yourself when you're on tour and you're doing things like this talking to the press all day um, singing and I just like to go home and see my family <laughs> and my boyfriend and put my pajamas on and watch a movie and just relax, really. Mm. I mean, if I've got a, a bit more energy, you know, sometimes it's nice to go shopping with my friends or get, you know, go out for dinner with friends or what. But, I mean, we fly home tonight and I'm just... Tonight I'm going to go home and put my pyjamas on and watch the TV. The media yeah. can be pretty harsh yeah. and, and, and also very intrusive in yeah. a sense. Uh, is that something that you that you notice a lot? Um, they have been intrusive to certain points and they've written, they've written a lot of negative things about us but then they've also written a lot of positive things about us and you just kind of have to accept that that's part of the job and and deal with it and not take anything to, to heart. You know, I, th I think if, I, if I'd you know, took on board everything that they'd said about us that was positive, you know, I'd have a head as big as this room, you know thinking I was something special <laughs> and I think if, if I'd taken everything on board but they've said negative I'd be in you know a deep depression so you just that the thing you have to remember is that that's one person's opinion about you and everyone is entitled to their opinion and you can't let one person's opinion affect your life as long as you know you're a good person yourself and that you're enjoying your life and you care for the people that you know who were important to yeah then I think that that's all that matters, really. Mm. But uh, having been in the in in the business, if you can call it that, for so so many years, what do you think is the most important thing that you've learned to sort of take care of yourself? Um, I think no knowing when to say no, you know, to to say you know I need a break, because if they can, the the you know the record companies will work you constantly. <laughs> They will wake you 24 hours a day if they could. Yeah. Um, I think just learning to say, you know, I, I need a break. And uh, and then the most other important thing is to, it's just to try and enjoy everything because this job is like a 24-7 job. Mm. It takes over your life. So if you're not enjoying what you're doing at work, you, you're kind of wasting your life because you're not enjoying, you know, 
every day that you you know you do and stuff. Mm. What do you think about these uh, sort of idol contests and? Um, I think they're good. I mean, you you do get some really talented people on these shows. The only thing I worry about is that I don't think that the people who go in for them realise that a lot of the time I think these people who've won the shows their careers have been so controlled by that company ever since they're told what to sing and how to sing it and what to say and how to dress and and I couldn't, I personally couldn't cope with that because it would just be like a, an act constantly and I don't think you could keep that up you, you know, I think that's another thing that makes you get through that, you know, when you're really tired and you're doing full days, that you, at the end of the day, you're being yourself, you know, having to, you know, perform as another person, mm. something. Mm. I don't know, I think they, they, they always say that they like our music and they like the lyrics and they like the way we dress and, you know, they all have different reasons and then some of them will, will like me but not the other girls and some will like the other girls but not me and... <laughs> You know, it it works in every every different way, really. Yeah. So, so, so what's next for you now? Is it Christmas and then? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've got three weeks off for Christmas. All right. And I'm gonna go home to Liverpool yeah. to spend that with my family. Right. And then me and my boyfriends are gonna go on holiday for two weeks. Oh, lovely! So I can't wait.